We all did a collective oof when we found out that Adobe was abandoning the development of their textile designer app. They gave us a little hope with the release of Pattern Preview, but after that, but I'm happy to report, and some of you who were beta testers for the textile plugin may already know that Adobe partnered with Aquario Design and has just released the Aquario Textile Design plugin. So how does it work? How can you get it? Is it worth the price? Will it do what I want it to do? That's what today's video is about. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham, and I'm pretty excited to do a short demo for you of the new Aquario Textile Design plugin for Adobe Photoshop. There's some things I like, some things that I think could be improved, and some things I wish were included. And I'm gonna get into all of that right now. The first thing you should know though is that this is not a free plugin. You do have to pay a monthly subscription. So if you're someone who does the occasional print, you're probably better off using some of the manual methods that most of us have been using for the last umpteen years. If you need some suggestions on how to do a repeat, you can check out these two videos on my channel. And if you need to do color separations and colorways, check out this one. But if textile design is your livelihood and you're doing repeats, color reduction and colorways all day, every day, 24 seven, this plugin will probably save you some time. I'm not gonna go into how to activate the license directions for how to do that are pretty clear on the website. Although I will say I had a few issues trying to click the icon to activate it, but I finally did. To start using your new plugins, go to the plugins menu and scroll to Aquario Textile Designer. There's two different plugins, Repeat and Colorist, and you either pay for one or pay a slightly reduced amount for the bundle to get both. You'll want to always have the Aquario TD Previewer open so you can see a preview of the changes you make. And the Aquario TD panel is where you do the repeat and colorway work. The print I'm using is already in layers. And since Pattern Preview already covers basic side-by-side -side repeats, what I really wanted to test out is how this handles half drops. So in the app panel, I'm going to choose the second icon and it defaults to half, so I'll leave it on that for the half drop. Then, to see how it looks so far, press the refresh icon in the previewer panel. First thing I'm going to do is go to the layer with the pink solid background and increase that to cover the whole background. Then, I'm going to start moving around and copy pasting some of the motifs to fill out the rest of the space. And any motif that crosses the edge of one side, the part that's cut off is shown on the other side. And each time you add, update, or move a motif, you can refresh the preview to see the repeating pattern and you can see your tile forming on the Photoshop canvas. One thing to note, you do need to have the Aquario TD panel in view in order for the preview to appear. A few times I went back to the layers panel to move or update something. And when I tried to click the refresh icon, it wouldn't work until I switched back to the Aquario TD panel. The duplicate opacity is how opaque or transparent you want to see the duplicated motifs on your canvas. And move allows you to move the artwork left, right, up, or down so you can fix any seams in the artwork while it's still in repeat. In the previewer, if you wanna see the exact edges of the tile, you can turn on the border option and you can even select what color you want the borders to be. Once you finish updating your repeat, you can export the tile as a PSD, JPEG, PNG, TIFF, or PDF file. Note that you can export as a tiled repeat, but I think most people just need the single repeat tile. If you plan to bring it into Illustrator to use it as a pattern swatch, you only need a single repeat. And that's all you really need to pass to a printer as artwork. Now that you have your repeat done, 
you can switch to colorist to do color reduction, callouts, and colorways. You can use the eyedropper to pick your own colors from the print. Or you can do an auto reduction. And I prefer the auto reduction because in the past, I've always had restrictions on the number of colors I can afford to use. So when I have a print like this, I can just say reduce it to X amount of colors and see what it looks like. So for this, I'm going to say 10 colors and in the previewer, you can see what the print now looks like with 10 colors called out. If it starts to look grainy, you probably need to increase the number of colors and then maybe try to combine some of the similar colors later to reduce it back to 10. Next, I'm going to use the arrows at the bottom of the panel to move and group lighter and darker colors together, which will make it easier to recolor later. You can add colors using the plus icon, determine color position by selecting a color and toggling the eyeball, and delete colors by clicking the trash can. If you find that some colors are very close and you want to combine them, choose the two colors, or at least two at a time, press the merge colors icon, and use the slider to choose one of the colors or a new one that's somewhere in between. And if you need to match Pantone colors, click the color palette icon, which will open Aquario TD swatches. Choose a palette and click match to automatically match the current colors. You can also add your own palette by clicking the plus and opening, opening a .asc file. Once you're happy, click done, and you'll see a few additional icons that appear in the Aquario TD panel. If you wanna go back and edit the color reduction you did, you can click the funnel icon and it'll take you back to the previous window before you hit done. Also, if you wanna see one color in another color position, you can choose the two colors and hit the swap icon. You can also now add additional colorways. Press the plus and rename the colorway if you want, and then to update the color, select the color you want to change, then double click the color in the palette that you wanna change it to. You can also just double click the current color and update it in the color picker. And then once you create all of your colorways, you can export the tile for each. Be sure to choose export current colorway and choose what format to save it in. Okay, so here's what I like. First of all, the fact that there's an easier way to do a half drop is a huge selling point because most of you textile designers know, currently there's no great easy way to do this. I have my preferred method, which I shared in this video, but there's still quite a few steps involved. In the colors panel, I like that there's an automatic reduction option, a way to quickly merge colors, and that you can quickly match them to Pantone colors. I also really like that there are manuals built right into the hamburger menu, and they're pretty simple to follow. For areas of improvement, I definitely would recommend that they add quick tips to their options so that when you hover over something, it tells you what it is. I also hope that the previewer for repeat auto updates like it does for colorists. I know they have those options to move the artwork so you can fix the scene, but I think they could improve this by also adding the ability to update the size of the repeat tile without cutting off the artwork. And what do I wish was there? Pretty much anything that's in the pattern function in Illustrator that's missing from this. Seriously, if they just made a replica of that, I would have been happy. I also wish you could output all your colorways at once, not one at a time. Like if it generated multiple files or a multi-page document, even if it only works in PDF with all the colorways. I guess that would technically be an area of improvement. 
I really wish the colorways tool would work in a way that I can create separate layers, use hue saturation to create a new colorway, reduce those colors and then match them. But the way that it works now is really more true to life and how you need to do an art production sheet and do color call outs for a printer. So maybe not. Overall, I'm not mad at this plugin. Although there's definitely room for improvement, I think it could be a real time saver if textile design is what you do every day. So like the source rates things on a scale of one to five mics, five being amazing. I'm gonna rate this on a scale of one to five needles and give this three needles. Anyone else who's tried it, let me know in the comments what you rate it. Thanks for watching today's video. For those of you who are occasional textile designers or aren't convinced you wanna give up your hard earned cash just yet for this plugin, you can check out the links in the description to the videos I mentioned earlier that show alternate ways to do repeats and colorways. And if you are ready to get the plugin, I'll leave a link to the site to purchase it in the comments as well. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.